Well, I wanted to talk about this otter today. This is a river otter. The bones have been cleaned by all natural processes. We didn't use any chemicals. And I love the tone of the bone. I, these are over bleached and over white. And God, some of these skeletons you buy, they look like they're Halloween glow in the dark or something. I, I really don't like over cleaning. I bitch about it all the time. Anyway. Here we are with a beautiful specimen, specimen of a male. There's the baculum or penis bone. I'll get more hits on the video, I guess, if I say penis bone. Huh? <laughs> Teeth look great. Let me see age. This is a young animal. Uh, this is a young male. Probably, he's not very old. I don't think he's five years old. He's more like three years old, maybe two years old. Let's check the ribs. These animals have very powerful tail. You're going to see when I lay this tail out. It's just uh, things like a weapon. Otters are very, very aggressive animals. You don't realize it, but they'll, uh, they will attack you. <laughs> Gentle and kind. There are otter in the Amazon River that are six feet long, and they will attack your boat. Everybody's not warm and fuzzy all the time. <laughs> I don't see any trauma. There's the fibula, smallest bone in the lower leg. Remember fibula, like a little fib you tell. That's an easy way to remember that. Tibia would be the other one. That's uh, this. That's humerus, and there's the uh, very odd-shaped otter femur. Can you see that? Yeah, it's in camera. Good. More thoracic vertebra. And just for fun, just so we refresh everybody, this atlas, the pivot of the neck, atlas axis. Yeah, I think that's right. These muscle attachments on the tail, this very powerful tail, spiny outcroppings like that up on the top. That's where the muscle attaches. It's another good example here. That's where the muscle attaches to whip that very powerful tail. I'm going to do the phalanges right now. If you're putting together a skeleton, if it's a mammal, that's an interesting, it will, the toughest part of the process will be putting the feet together. That is a, I just put that little guy there, that is a vestigial clavicle. Bobcats also have a vestigial clavicle. And there it is, that little tiny thing. It is often lost in processing because it's so fragile. It's more cartilageous. And that is a fantastic specimen you're looking at right here. We're going to... A little more of the tail. Birds are easier because birds, the, the feet are... Many of the bones are fused into one bone. So that makes it a lot easier to put them together. I'm going to show you. I've got an otter that I put together a few winters ago. It's not the best job of taxidermy, but uh, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. <laughs> Here in a minute. Unless I'm always lit at. Ooh, that's why it'll drive you crazy. And actually, that's not the hard part. These little phalanges are easy. You can do that easy. It's these guys. Talus, Malleolus. These puppies, the lunates, they're the ones that are really interesting how they work together to make a foot. That one. <laughs> yeah, let's do the claws real quick. We got the patella. Patella. You notice a very unusual shape. That's because otters are in the water more than they're on land, so they have the very odd shaped patella. But that thing. And what's up? Claws. Oh, come on, please. Wait. That's claws. Okay, now we're going to do the dregs bag. Is everything else? Every little bit of dust and everything that the animal had in its stomach is there. And 
and it's a lot of fun because you can look at uh, a lot of these predators and the otters are pretty high up, up the food chain predator they'll have all kinds of fish bones and different things Let me look at oh i told you i just saw it i told you that would pop out there's the 18th claw i told you drugs bag stomach contents everything else about that animals right there so we have a very nice healthy young male probably uh three years old four years old i just noticed a few skinning marks right there can you see that on that can you see those little tiny where are they right there right there and right there those are skinning marks that's from when they skin the animal put your marks see them on archaeological sites all the time okay a very young animal uh, about three years old no forensics no uh no old injuries or healed over or bone deformities or anything that i can see at all the cool thing about it though are those vestigial clavicles right there and there they are here's an otter i put together a couple of winters ago the ribs are not in the position i would do them now I've learned a little about that since. But there's one I assembled. Swimming pose or a leaping pose like the fox down here. Mm -hmm.